first morning, is it? Yeah, it is morning. morning. Welcome to our new series of travel vlogs of how to get to Disneyland Paris from Paris Airport. Yes. So think about that one then. Yeah, from Paris Airport. So there are three main airports in Paris. So it's Charles de Gaulle as the main one, Orly and Beauvais. And we are going into Beauvais today. We are. And then we'll try and find out how to get from Beauvais, Beauvais, Beauvais. Uh, over to DLP, aren't we? Yeah, so we're going to discover what's the, the cheapest options, how long it takes, uh, all that kind of thing. So come along with us and we'll find out. We are flying today from Manchester Airport, Terminal 3. Come and uh, With Ryanair. Tra that yeah. famous Irish budget airline. How much um, did the flights cost about? Flights cost £64 in total for both of us there and back so it's about 16 pound each way each, each, each way, way. Yeah. but then Ryanair being the lovely airline that they are also sat as individually a million course. miles apart so we have upgraded the seats to six seat together so that's cost an extra 16 pounds yeah okay um, so just factor that into your costumes when i mean you, you might do. not want to travel together on the plane but you know if you do that's your choice so anyway uh, obviously um we're saying this is the first in the series mm -hmm. so come and travel with the trekkers trek with the trek anyway trekkers travel we're going through trekkers travel trekkers travel we're going through security now so we'll see you soon, soon. Bye. delay only a 50 minute flight over here but we're now we're gonna go and catch a bus yep. but we'll uh, tell you a bit more when we're out of the noise of these engines so we've uh, just come off the plane and uh, came through passport control five minutes yeah, five minutes, nice and simple, um, dead easy, straight through, uh, and now we're heading towards, we're going to get the coach or the bus from here to Paris. So this should take about one hour, 15 minutes to get over to Paris. Never bought a ticket yet. Not bought a ticket yet, so we're going to video going there, ticket office, it's all so far so good. So we're going to go buy two tickets for the coach over to Paris. So the ticket office is right in between the signs for Terminal 2 and Terminal 1. And we're going to go and buy uh, one of these or two of these 35 euro tickets uh, from obviously uh, the airport where we're at now over to Paris. You can buy them one way 18 euros or you can save one euro and buy them at 35 and that's the ones that we're going for. And if your children are under four, they go free. So once you purchase your ticket, you literally, there is one ticket somewhere there, yep. Yeah. You literally turn around and then you are right next to the bus stop. Let's see. And then we go over to said parked up bus. So we are on the bus. Yeah. That's all been done. Uh, Ford Mayo. Sat on the back row, like naughty school children. That's where all the cool kids sit. All the school kids. And uh, obviously, we're not going to start throwing stuff at the people in front of us. Can't take Sarah anywhere. So nice and simple that was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was really easy. Really easy. So uh, came out of the terminal, followed the signs for the ticket office, uh, and then quite simply bought two return tickets, didn't we? Yeah, and it's 
useful in English if you don't understand French. Yep. And it's really easy. Right, so next stop is um, Port Mayo. Port Mayo over in Paris. Mm -hmm. Uh, where we then catch the local train? Uh, the Metro or RER. Metro or RER, and then we go uh, to another train station. Go to Charles de Gaulle et Toile. Oh, yeah. We get the RER A line. Yeah. To Marlborough. Cool. Okay. All right, now we get on. Longer than we planned for. Yeah, hour and a half. Um, this is the bus station. Opposite there is Le Palais de Congress. We're going to follow the signs for the train and the metro because that seems sensible. It does. So. And the pedestrians as well. Yeah. So we're just going to wander this way. I hope we're going in the right direction because you know. I think so. We'll find it. I don't really know where we're going. Go on, there we are. Slash. There's, the, there's the Palais again, and we're following the signs that say Station RER and Metro. If not, we're having a lovely look around Paris. Like. We are, aren't we? I love this area. Vous êtes en party? Oh, that's the Eiffel Tower. Oh, let me just take a question. Hey? We are so touristy. So, the question is now which way do we go? You reckon this way? Uh, yeah, it's got to be empty, it can't be. So, we've got all them. Yeah, we're heading this way. <laughs> so the bus station is over there. And we're going to go this way, I think. Who knows, might be right, it might not be. Oh, look, there's a sign. The station of Port Maya. The road. Oh, yeah. There we go. Can we see that, people? Right, so we want, we are looking for Metro One, which is that way. There. So we want Metro One going towards Chateau de Vincennes. Metro One. Chateau so we are going this way, we're going to the right. Yeah. Well, obviously, there is construction at the moment. Yeah, but well, this is the way we are going. There we go, look. And we're going to buy tickets. So we'll walk you through that one as well. Right. right. Screen into English. Ah, oh, back. Cancel. Cancel. Right, into English. For a start. Buy navigator pass. Buy, buy cardboard tickets. That's what we want. Want. Let's just go tickets. Yeah. From this one. Yeah. That's our station where we're departing. Sorry, people. I will add you this. That one. Boosty Saint George. We want full fare. We want two, two tickets. Oh. 10 euros. Yeah. So the reason we've gone for Bussy Saint George rather than Mont La Vallée, which is Disneyland Paris, is because our hotel is in Bussy Saint George. So we're going to go there first. It's on the same train line, it's just two stops earlier. Yep. Don't want a receipt. Yep. 
Ciao. Ciao. So again, we were going for one. one, but this is the RER line, not the Metro line. The Metro hmm. one's that way. Uh, no, we need to go out. We need to go out? Yeah. So learn from our mistakes, oh. read the signs, because we didn't. So we're off to the metro now. So we're off to the metro, which I don't know where it is. It's said this way. It said this way, and then there's a McDonald's and, and then then it's just stopped. It's just stopped. I'm gonna follow these people across oh, this God. road because they seem to know where they were going. You ready? Yeah, I'm good. Metro. Cool. Proper metro. Proper. Chateau de Vincent, that's the right direction. So that one there. That's where we want. You can buy some more tickets here. You can, yeah. yeah. And we want. Right, this one. Point out to James Charles de Gaulle at 12. There. Oh, go want that one, yeah. So let's go. Second stop. So two stops on the Metro One mm -hmm. towards Chateau Le Balson. Getting off at Charles de Gaulle Etoile. Charles de Gaulle Star, if you will. Sounds like there's a train. There is definitely a train. Oh, Ooh. quick galleries. Let's have it on. There we go. Training. I'm switching off for a minute. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to follow the crowd, literally. So we're off at Charles de Gaulle Etoile, we're just looking for the RERA line. Which I think I can see a sign for right at the back. So that was painless. That was painless. So we are going to keep going this way towards the sign there, RERA. Yeah. So you can see the sign there. 
that's where we've just got our chance to go. And the next stop is Aubert. And then you go all the way along to all the signs that are lit up. And you can see there. Ours is the one, two, third from the end. And Disneyland, model of our light, is the end of our line. There's the line for Disneyland. So we've been to the hotel and uh, drop the bags off. We've got the train back from Buzzy to Marla Valley. Plus 5.70 for both of us, yep. one way. And uh, we're not heading towards Disneyland Park because we haven't got tickets. So we're just going to the village. We're just going to the village instead. But that's how easy it is to get here. Yep. It's been time consuming. But not difficult to do, is it? But not difficult to do. And if you just flip the camera around. I will, but just to let you know that it's taken three hours mm. from airport to here. Uh, we've been quite fortunate with trains, Yeah. I would say. So yeah, solid three hours. This is not something I would do for one night. No, once we add up how much it's cost, then we can compare to how much it will be to come to Jorasa Gorlo or something like that, aren't yeah. we? But there we go. Anyway, I'll flip you around because we've got to go the long way around because they don't let you in so we've got to go the long way round and there you go there's Disney Village and over there there's Disneyland I'm very adept at walking backwards morning, morning everyone so it's uh, Saturday Saturday morning you're in uh, Busy St. George or whatever it is Busy St. George there you go St. George's are busy yeah, so we're we're going home today on the aeroplane. So yep. we've reversed the journey. Yep. Um, so it took about three hours yesterday, didn't it? Mm -hmm. All told. Well, let's go and get the train back. Up high. Yeah. Now we've just sat outside eating uh, pan chocolat, yeah. etc. Being, yeah, being very French. Very Parisian. Yeah. <clears throat> and hopefully we might even have five minutes to uh, just stop in Paris today. <laughs> Living the dream. See you then. So we like the ticket machines. There is a ticket office just next door. Ticket machines are fairly self-explanatory, though. They aren't are. They? Yeah. The only ones that we, um, well, lots of people seem to have a problem with were the ones uh, yesterday where they had old-style rollers. Yeah. And that's because the old-style rollers were playing up, weren't they, on yep. most machines? So obviously we're going for English, mm -hmm. don't fancy doing Spain, uh, Spanish or German today. I don't have the Navigo Pass, uh, we want to go City. for Paris City, Paul Fair, yeah. two, two validate. Yeah. Much easier than the roller ones that we were having to use yeah. yesterday. <laughs> And there we have two tickets. Show me again. Two tickets. Tickets acquired. <coughs> so heading back to Paris, the other side is to Disneyland, which we are sadly not doing. Not today. Not today. <laughs> So this is what it takes about 45, 50 minutes, something like this. About 45 minutes, yeah. yeah. So again, 10 euros. Yep. That's both of us. It is. It's five euros each. Yep. Which just seems incredibly cheap. Well, considering how far we're going now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we get in the RER A line in reverse, going back to Charles de Gaulle, the 12th. Yep. Uh, we'll then get the Metro line one to... I can't remember what it's called now. Gaulle. Was it Newey? Port Mayo. Yeah. Oh, the two tickets, by the way, in uh, sterling, £8.57. For? Uh, that €10 Euros just. Oh, okay. So the RER line from Busi to Paris is eight. £8.57. £8.57. What a bargain. Not bad, is it? As long as obviously whatever the exchange rate is, but you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, back to Port Mayo. Yep. And then we'll 
come out of that station and go to the bus station by the Palais de Congress. No, a good um, hour and 15 on the bus. Yeah, get the bus back. But we've already got the tickets for the bus. Yep. So, all good. We want La Défense, not Chateau de la Vincent, because that will not take us where we need to go. But again, little momentary confusion, but nothing that's left me thinking, oh my God, what are we uh, going to do? Exactly. We checked, we couldn't see the station we needed. Nope. But we knew we were on the right line. Yep. These two are our tickets to Paris. That one was to Disney and I hadn't thrown it away, so I just obviously grabbed a ticket, put it through and ran my leg into the barrier. Yeah. Um, oh, well. The man wasn't best chuffed, was he? Um, just to make sure you do get the right tickets and you have got a ticket because the fine, if you haven't got a ticket, is quite high and they will fine you and just the fact that you're a tourist will not make any no. difference. So, tickets people. But not that one. But not that one. So if you remember when we came um, going towards Disneyland Paris that we were by the Palais de Congress and when we came up out of the metro station could see that so always useful to have a little eye landmark. mark, landmark, landmark that's the word, a little landmark to keep in mind so you know that even if you're on the wrong side of the road like we came out of the wrong entrance, exit 
you can kind of find your way back that's some more Paris So I've just spotted the one that we went down, the metro that we went down when we got here is just like there. So we just came out of the wrong entrance. When you said go right, yeah, should have gone we should have gone left, but hello. <laughs> well, you know, these things happen. And part of, you know, travel is getting lost and enjoying being lost. So, it's all good. We walk here, didn't yeah, we went through here. I do remember that. That's sign for the bus. I didn't pick a feet up. I threw the construction, which will not always be here, so yeah. do not use this as a landmark. Yeah, don't use construction as a landmark. Don't use construction as a landmark. Use this big building as a landmark. It's much better. And then it was just around the corner from here. So we ducked into the Palais de Congrès. It's the most boring shopping centre in the world. It is completely dead. There is nobody in. Even the Starbucks isn't open. And when have you ever known a Starbucks to shut? Um, shocking. Shocking. It's also a concert venue. Yeah. Like, like I say, ballet, classical, that kind of thing. There was nowhere that sold a drink. Nowhere was open. No. Big thumb down for that one. But, right, now we need to concentrate on where we're going. It's over there. So, so, yeah, let's go that way. Go that way. Yeah. Let's turn you around. Ooh, that's a big old queue. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. So there's the bus station over there. There is a big old queue for the bus. A big old queue. But we move. An hour, maybe an hour and thirty back to Beauvais. So just at the um, bus station, again, there is a ticket office just behind me there. So you can buy your ticket there. If you've already got your ticket, you just stand in the queue. It's all in French and English. So there's no risk of miscommunication. Have your tickets in hand for the driver and just wait. So quite a big queue. I don't know how long it will take us. certainly won't be on the first bus but we're here so and just while I'm thinking about um, transports and other things from Bay Airport so there are other options from Bay Airport you can get yourself a private shuttle to Disneyland Paris I will attempt to look up the costs mm -hmm. for some of those obviously it's a lot more expensive than what we've chosen but you can pick yourself a private shuttle you could Uber you wanted to. Uh, there is another route where you can get a bus from Beauvais into Beauvais village town centre and then get the train from Beauvais train station, get the SNCF. Yeah. Um, this was recommended as the quicker route which is why we've done that but that's another option. You can also if you're confident enough hire a car and mm -hmm. yeah. um, there are car hire facilities at Beauvais. You can hire a car and drive yourself and I think that would be about an hour Probably. journey yeah. um, again I will try and work out what the actual length of time is um, and see how much a higher car is so you can compare the cost that way um, at the end of this we will put in all our travel costs so the bus the plane the train planes trains and automobiles people plane trains tickets. and automobiles people all the tickets so you can see exactly what the costs were 
if there are any hidden costs like we paid extra to upgrade the seats on Ryanair because we wanted to sit together um, so that was a little bit extra and we'll put all that in and see how it compares with other so if other you just don't play into Charles School for example yeah whether it's just um, you look at it and go yeah headline like 16, 16 pounds really cheap or actually by the time you've added anything else on it's not that reasonable so yeah but it's also doable though isn't it yes So back on the bus we go. So yeah, we're on the coach. Oh. There we go. There's the bus, back off the bus. There's the ticket office. That's Terminal 2 that way. I think we're Terminal 1. We came from Terminal 1, didn't we? Yeah. Terminal 1 there. That's Terminal 2. So, really, really close. That took, what time is it now? It is 13.50, so it was an hour and a half. So, 20 past 10, 20 past 11, 20 past 1, 20 past 2. Yeah. Uh, it's 3 hours, 20 minutes? 3 and a half hours? We haven't got to 20 past 2 yet. But yeah, 3 and a half hours so far. It's taken us 3 and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah, so it's taken us 3 and a half hours to get from Boussy to Paris Beauvais Airport. Yeah. We did have to wait for 20 minutes for the coach though. Yeah, that's why it's taken longer this time, isn't yeah. it? So I would say average three hours. Yep. Um, it does feel long today. It, it felt okay up until that coach passed. Yeah, felt feels long. Well, I think that's because we were stood waiting there. We? Yeah, so again, we'll add up the cost versus time yep. ratio and see what we think. But for now, back into the airport. Hmm. warm and <sighs> so this is terminal one we've got a little um, hall cafe okay. yeah let's get a drink and then um, We've also got a little shop, a little okay. relay. Okay, so much. Merci. A little relay shop. And a little pizza place there. Hmm. Terminal air side of Paris Bobe. We've got a duty free shop, and then these are the gates. It is really tiny, tiny, tiny. There's a little cafe kiosk. 